I know you had a few niggas, but they ain't done enough. I see how you moving, baby. That's why you cutting up. I know I ride a few niggas, but they ain't running up. I had to get to that bag, yeah, I had to run it up. You made me laugh when I'm mad. I swear I'd be dumb as fuck. I can be mad with you. Hey y'all, it's Lil Maddie and it's lit like a tick because I'm back with another video. I said I'm back with another video and today we have a special guest. We have my sister. Her Instagram will be right here. No followers. Follow her on Instagram, y'all. Pump her head up. Yeah. So today's video and the reason why I had my little sister is because today we're going to be trying this try treats. So today we're going to be trying this try treats. I bought a snack crate um, box from... I mean, I bought a try treats from Snack Crates. Um, and this box is the their Hawaii theme box. So I'm like super duper pressed to try it, y'all. I so it came today, and I was like, oh my god, we're making this video as soon as I get off work. Super duper pressed. It took about three weeks to get here, or whatever. So no, not three. Yeah, about three weeks to get here. So I'm super 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 pressed. To open it and try it. I made sure I didn't put my address or anything like that on there. So, boom. But, I got my water. She don't got nothing right now. So, that's on her. Because, I don't know. I like trying new stuff. But, sometimes, y'all, I don't know. I don't know. But, I like to see what other people like to eat. And, I feel like you acquire a taste for the things you're used to trying. So, it's not that it's nasty. It's just that we haven't acquired the taste for it. Because, we're not used to eating it. So yeah, um, y'all know Essentia is where it's at. If you don't drink Essentia, what are your lane? All right, so boom. When you open it, this way it looks like. Ooh, everything just like fell out. When you open it. This is what's in there. It's like a little Hawaii little postcard with like fun facts about Hawaii and just like stuff like that about the box and stuff. And you get a sticker that says Snack Crate. And then I think this is like oh, what, okay. yeah, what's awesome. inside of it. So, yes. And basically it tells you like, um, just like what it is and stuff. Um, they would have gave us like a drink, but I didn't get the one with the drink because I didn't want to drink anything. So, the first thing is onion chips and jalapeno chips. So, which one oh, you want to try first? <laughs> which one you want to try first? Wait a minute. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna try the onion chip. We both like onion pickles, so I really don't think this and is that's gonna too be much that bad. This is the Maui style Maui onion potato chips flavored. I don't know how I okay, this is what it looks like. I'm gonna read it on what this says on here. It says crunchy chips infused with savory onion flavor and dusted with salt. Each bite will make you feel that fresh Maui spirit. Alright, so let's open it. It doesn't stink. It smells like salt and vinegar chips, to be honest. It doesn't even have a strong smell. No, it smells like Fritos. It smells like potato chips. Like, yeah. that's it. <laughs> All right, ready? They taste like Pringles. <laughs> like Pringle chips, literally. That's what they taste like. Here you go. You like, like it? Like. Or it tastes like kettle chips, but onion flavor. They taste good to me. And the next one, I'm gonna finish them. They buy the same ones from Tropical. Yeah, these are the jalapeno chips. They spell jalapeno different, and they say Hawaiian brand kettle style potato chips. So I'm pretty sure they taste just like regular um, um, kettle chips. Yeah. On here it says, get a little island spice in your life with these jalapeno flavored crunchy potato chips. So. I feel like they're gonna be good. I don't think they're gonna be nasty. Oh, rating these, I give these an eight out of ten. What do you give them? I give them eight. Yeah, it, they taste like Pringles, like just crunchy Pringles. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They don't smell like anything. No, they yeah. smell like the same ones. Yeah. All right. It's all about flavor. These are hot. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold on. Cause what? Ooh. 
<laughs> they start getting spicy. I'm talking about like real spicy out of nowhere. Mm, like they do the jalapeno in the bag. These are really spicy. <laughs> but yeah, all right, y'all. So I'll give these a six out of ten. I like hot chips, but like y'all. It says our jalapeno chips start with everything we love about our thick Hawaiian brand kettle chips and eggs and jalapeno cake. They are they are sure to start a fire in any occasion. These sometimes spicy chips will make you break out and dance because they're not just jalapeno, they're jalapeno. Like hula jalapeno. They're jalapeno. I was saying it wrong. Yeah. Definitely like Die. gets spicy out of nowhere. Like, what the heck? Yeah. Okay. The next thing is this little bread. I don't know what this is, but this is what it looks like. Y'all probably can't see because my real light is like dumb bright. But on here, it's actually not on here. Like it's not on the pack, the little thing. So I don't know what it is, truthfully. So we about to find out because I don't know what this is. I think probably just kind of like threw it in there. I don't know. It doesn't say what it is. I hope. Okay. Oh wait, is this a pineapple shortbread? Oh yeah. That's what I was saying. Okay. I think it's that. Yeah. So it looks different on here though. This is what it looks like on up there. It doesn't look like that. Like it's not the same packaging. But it's a this authentic Hawaiian treat is made of all native ingredients, featuring sweet shortbread with braised pineapple filling. I don't like things don't like with filling, things. and I don't really like pineapple stuff like that. So I'm not gonna like this. I'm probably sure. You don't like pineapple. You like the fruit pineapple. I love pineapples, but I don't like pineapple filled stuff like at all. All right, so I don't really know what to do. I'm gonna bite it, and she can bite it. It smells like shortbread. Okay, I'm scared. Okay. Ooh. Mm -mm. I didn't get the feeling in the inside on purpose. That's it, look. It's not bad. It tastes like strawberry shortcake. My mom might like it. Oh, that, that thing mommy eat them little uh, cookies with the yeah, filling inside. Yeah, that she scrapes the filling out. Yeah. That's what it tastes like. Nasty. But, I don't know. It tastes like a cheesecake, too. Ooh. Ooh. Mm -mm. It's so thick. Like, oh my God. I'm going to rate that. <coughs> A three. I guess not nasty, but I just don't like stuff like that. So. I give it a four. I like how the bread is like. It's really soft though. Yeah, it is. It's soft. really soft. Like fresh, really fresh. All right. So the next thing is um koi koi. No, koi koi. Oh, Y'all, I need to freshen up in my Hawaiian. But this is mochi. Chocolate covered Japanese rice. It is. Yeah. Chocolate covered Japanese rice crackers, and on here it says a tasty influence of Asian. And wait, a tasty example of Asian influence on island with crisp, crisp rice crackers covered in milk chocolate. Um, I don't know. I feel like I'll probably like this. We shall see. And you get along with it. Here, it smells like raisins, like chocolate covered raisins. I like chocolate covered raisins sometimes. It's good. Mm -hmm. and it's just like chocolate like covered rice. rice cakes. Yeah, but chocolate on top. They taste good. The chocolate is really rich too. Yeah. I'll give it. This is a really good period candy. <laughs> I'm going to give Wait. it. Oh, a nine. I need some salty. This too sweet. Um, a nine out of ten because like I don't really like chocolate unless I'm on my period. The next thing is these little wafers. Wait, yeah, like rice wafers. I don't know, but on here it says seaweed crackers. What the fuck? 
crunchy when rice I crackers salty, I didn't mean dusted with dry seaweed the perfect blend of salty and um favor i don't know y'all i don't know how to read and i don't know how to speak hawaiian like i used to so you take one and you take one ready cheers This like gets nastier as you eat it, <laughs> and you just open it, crunching the. It's good. It's kind of good, but it's nasty at the same time. It's like you bite it, you can't taste nothing. Then your taste buds start to get adjusted, yeah. and the seaweed hits you. It tastes just like the ocean. The next thing I pulled out is a plum candy. What is that? Um. Um. It says. Oh, this is a Lee Moi. Look at you. <laughs> Lee Moi sweet hard candy flavored with traditional Hawaiian plums. The pit of a real fruit in the center. Don't bite down too hard. So this is the seed of a plum. I love plums. So I think I'm gonna really like this. So yeah. Here's one for you. Okay. Oh, the last thing, I rate that a two. <laughs> I rate it a two. This is kind of sticky. It say don't bite down, but it's like open. Yeah, you can bite it, just don't bite down too hard is what it says. Oh. What? <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. If you don't it's sour. It's salty. <laughs> <laughs> it's really sticky. <laughs> mm -hmm. It don't have a, a taste. It's just sweet. It just got random things in it. It's like sweet, sour, and salty at the same, same time. time. It tastes like caramel, too. Mm -hmm. It's not acid. It's just taste. It's funny. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. I think the the sour taste is the Lee Moi though that is covered in. But aren't plums sour? <laughs> yeah, I don't know, but it doesn't really have a flavor to me. Like it doesn't have a taste. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna pull out is these Hawaii pretzels, Kona coffee sticks. They kind of remind me of Pocky. Nintendo loves Pocky. Yeah, it's good. So but it's hand, coffee, so... It says, these delightful crunchy snack sticks were soaked in famous Hawaiian Kona coffee. It is especially tasty to dip these in your favorite warm beverage. We don't drink, I don't drink coffee like that, but we don't got no coffee, so we're just going to open it like this and eat like this. And then this is the second package that comes in. These are actually really cute. Mm -hmm. It's really giving Hawaii. Yeah, it's giving it smells much. like pure coffee. Yeah, it smells like Starbucks. Yeah, it smells good though. But coffee can be really strong and too much sometimes. All right, ready? It looks like paper. Yeah. Mommy. Yeah? We recording. <laughs> okay, y'all. This is actually good. It I like this. Good, it's really light. Uh, it's a good like breakfast snack on the go. I wonder if it gives you energy like coffee does. I hope but, not. I'm never going to But it's not that bad. They give you a lot in here though. Like, are you supposed to eat them all in one day or I don't know? But it's a lot. The plum candy I break like a four. I don't know. It didn't even have a taste to me. I kind of like it. It tasted like caramel. Yeah, it was like a good yeah. just something to have to be eating on. And the coffee one, I rate that like a cool nine and a half. Because mm -hmm. actually, I would eat that if I was like in the mood for it. The next thing is Kona Crunch chocolate covered macadamia nuts with rice with rice crisp. Um, I like nuts, so I don't, I probably will like this. I don't really eat chocolate too much like that, but, but um, 
It's right here. It says Hawaiian macadamia nuts dipped in a mixture of rich milk chocolate with crispy rice added for a little extra snap in every bite. Okay. I don't know what Miami I need. Uh. It looks like turtles. Y'all know what the, the, oh. candle, the turtle candles are? That's what it looks like. Okay, one for me, one for you. Every time I hear turtles, can you? I think of everybody's turtles. Yeah. Oh, that's your heart. <laughs> Let's give a crunch bar. Yeah. Nothing special. I don't want to eat the whole thing, though. I want to spit it out. Mm -hmm. I still got a napkin because I really don't want this to sit in my mouth. What a napkin. I'm just eat it. It just tastes like a crunch bar. Yeah. And a turtle. Mm -hmm. Just without caramel. Yeah. It's not nasty. Really good period candy. Once again, but yeah, it's good. Their stuff is like really authentic and like real. Yeah, yeah. So it's really rich. And sometimes rich chocolates give me really bad headaches. So it's like a dark chocolate. Yeah, yeah. it is kind of tastes like dark yeah. chocolate. Okay, the next thing is this Hawaiian cookies Kiki Mochi. So yeah, this says. Small crunchy cookies with a traditional Hawaiian flavor known as mochi crunch. The sweet and salty taste of these snacks are to die for. I'll be the judge of that. I'll give those the last candies we just ate. A uh, eight. I don't know what that is. 7.5. This stinks. Oh child. But it's a cookie. It stinks. No, it don't. Yes, it do. I'm, I don't want to eat this no more. <laughs> is it good? I want to eat the little crumb. It's like a crumb cake. Okay, it's crumb. Yeah. It's really dry. It tastes like sand, too. It tastes like a snickerdoodle. That's what it tastes like. I don't know. I don't really like it. It's too sweet. I give it a four. I don't really like sweet stuff like that. I prefer savory <clears throat> stuff. Savory and sour stuff is like my favorite thing. The next thing is this. It's in Japanese, so I really can't read it. But all I can read is that it says Hawaii. So on the package, it says, Enjoy these Hawaiian spin on a famous Japanese candy. These chocolates are sweet and with just the right amount of pineapple. Okay, so they're chocolate pineapple candies. I don't think I'm gonna like this at all. It smells good. It smells so like pineapples. Like, it looks like lemon head. Yeah, that's how it's sweet. Okay. It's nasty. It tastes like a lemon hair. Mm, hell no. Ooh. Ooh. What? <laughs> I don't feel anything. It's like chalk. I don't like that at all. And my water is literally gone. Zero. <laughs> that was nasty to me. I definitely give it a zero. I would not eat that on a regular day. I gave it a four. It was alright. Hell, it tastes like pure D chalk. Okay, so we only have two more things left <laughs> in our crate, and oh, I no. think I'm really going to like the Lehi Moy Rainbow Belt. So I want to try those last because I love sour belts. So right now we're gonna try the white rabbit candy. I feel like this is white chocolate and I do not like white chocolate. So it says sweet milk flavored taffy candies that have a delicious chewy texture. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna like this. It's hard. <laughs> it can help. Like a taco flavor. It's not bad. It's sweet, but like very light. Yeah. 
It don't taste bad. It's really rich, like milk. It tastes just like milk. Yeah. Like if you drink straight up milk. Yeah. It tastes like milk. But it's not bad. I give it a seven. Anyways. I give it, I give it a second. You like milk? That's yeah. The last thing are these Lee Moy rainbow belts. I'm super, super, duper, duper, duper excited to try them. So. It's probably like a strong. Yeah, but like Lee Moy is like <coughs> sour. I'm going to read y'all what it says. Delicious brightly covered gummy stripes dusted with Lee Moy powder, which gives them the perfect blend of salty and sweet. I don't know if rainbow belt should be salty. Okay. It smells salty. Okay. Go. What the heck? <laughs> I'm pissed. What is that? <laughs> it's not even giving what y'all said it was supposed to give. No. Like Play-Doh when you first Hold put on. it in your mouth. You know, I'm about to throw up. I can't. I, I thought we were supposed to be eating some extreme. Out of all the things I wanted to try, I was not prepared for that at all. The nastiest shit ever. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. Who, who eats that? They do. Why? It's their nature. What? Why do you like salty, sweet stuff like that? That was disgusting. It was like pure salt, like putting salt on my tongue. Yeah, it tastes and like, like, like Play-Doh. A sweet taste after. It literally made my stomach want to turn up, upside down. They put me like, why do you know what Play-Doh tastes like? That was disgusting. I literally think the pineapple, little red gumdrop, whatever the fuck they are, tastes better than that. Yeah. That was nasty. And I'm so sad because I really want to do something. Really, truly. Mm, ghetto. That was disgusting. That was nasty. I feel like I need to throw up. And I have no more water. What was your favorite out of all of them? I think my favorite is definitely the chips. I'm about to eat the onion chips. I think my favorite is what? Is what? This little thing. Ten of favorite was a plum candy. Mine was definitely these onion chips. They taste so good. The jalapeno just wasn't that bad, but. It was too spicy. Oh, uh, maybe it really had a spicy kick. But, yeah. Other than that, y'all. Uh, yeah, they have some interesting things. Right. I didn't know they were like that. Yeah. I want to say thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You can follow me on Instagram. All that information will be down below in the description box. Tanner Instagram will be down below too. Um, yeah, y'all. I want to say thank you so much for everybody that subscribes to my channel currently. Don't forget to get those subscribers up. Don't forget to get those views up. And yeah, peace out.